Harris is one of the biggest pop stars in the world and also my substitute host when I'm not here. Please welcome my friend, Miley Cyrus. <laughs> You were. I, te I texted you and I said how great you were. I was watching the show. I was sick. I was, and which is uh, rare for me to. I would never stay home, <laughs> but I was really sick. And I, I said, please get Miley and see if she'll host the show for me. I knew you were in the neighborhood. You live yeah, close. I, you know, I'm. I'm actually not her first choice, but I just have nothing going yeah, on. No. You know, I'm home smoking weed anyway. No, so you're like she can. She has nothing to do. I actually don't. I was literally in Downward Dog with my dog next to me and like missing my cats and just torn between my dog and cat so it made more sense for me to come here yeah and it, and you really did i think we gave you like you know three hours notice or something because yeah. I, I was like at, at the hospital going i can't do it i can't come in um so now you had my moves oh, you had everything <laughs> i even went into your closet i raided your closet I know. <laughs> you dance longer. You dance. I only dance after my monologue. You dance the entire time. The entire time. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't see it when they were like on Sarah Jessica Parker. I was in my seat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for the grooves. Yeah. Isn't it fun though to dance with the audience? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's so fun. I, I'm obsessed with it. the guest I watch your show see so I know what to do and cat week that was like oh that was perfect you happened to be here on cat week that honestly that made me so happy just starting my day dressed like Ellen being Ellen watching cat videos that's yeah. what I do anyway yeah. Yeah. yeah if you if you need a shirt by the way today I, I, I was know wearing, I wore it just for you uh, all right well it's it's nice <laughs> did you mean to put a shirt on and you were just in a hurry no, no okay no. all right would you would you ever want to host a talk show you know, I, uh, I I have a lot to say, like maybe sometimes too much. If you're watching The Voice, that's kind of their ongoing slap to me is that I talk too much. So sometimes when they were talking, it was hard for me to not jump in, you know. Um, but it was cool because I got to talk about, you know, Milo's butt and stuff and just sit here and talk about a guy's butt and like, you know, spray myself with Sarah Jessica Parker perfume. So it was a pretty cool day. And yeah, but no, maybe not. I don't love like, I want to talk about what I'm doing. Well, <laughs> then you're a better guest. I'm a better guest. Yeah, I'm a better guest. Yeah, but um, but you really were fantastic. So thank you for doing. It. And you're fantastic on the Voice. I think you're so good on the Voice. Thank you so much. You're doing, you're sorry, right? you know, I gotta tell you something. This is something that I didn't know about you. This is something that was really cool that I didn't know about hosts, and it actually made me appreciate it a lot. So I actually got to watch. SJP show before I came out here. So that's awesome. You get to see all the shows before they come out. But it's also great that you actually watch what we're doing. Yeah. Or you always text me about The Voice and you're actually keeping up. So I'm not just sitting here with Ellen talking about The Voice. You're like at home watching and you're keeping up with your guests. And I think that's what makes you such a great host and why I could never replace you ever. Uh, yeah. So you were out on the uh, campaign trail for Hillary this yes. last weekend, right? Um, in Virginia. Yes, I went to GMU, and it was amazing. And you know it was great? Because you listen to so many people, especially when you're watching the debates, specifically Trump, say so many dumb things. And these young kids were so smart and so amazing to talk to them. Not why we should just be terrified of the other option. It wasn't about what a horrible... <laughs> guy Trump is, nasty guy Trump is, it was really about what a great woman she is, and we would choose her no matter what, what it would be, who she was up against, I, you know, and so I really think it was incredible to hear these young people why they're voting for her, it was really well, cool. Well, it's so great too, no matter what, I mean, there's, there are going to be more people voting in this election, I think, than any other le election before, because that's what we really, really we, and we need that, we need everyone to register, we need everyone to go out. Was because as someone who was openly supporting Bernie Sanders, I was kind of speaking to those people that now find themselves undecided, which right. I find ridiculous because in life we don't always get the choices that we want. We don't always get what we want, and so you do with what you have, and these are your choices, and it is terrifying if someone besides Hillary Clinton, we shouldn't even say the name, becomes president. So I just, I, I think she's a total goddess, and I, I, I just love her, and I'm, I'm really excited to see her for the next four and maybe even eight years. Yeah, well, I hope you're right. Um, it is, it's interesting.
interesting because you were very vocal. You were a big Bernie supporter, and now uh, because she is, you know, the option, it's, it's Hillary or Donald Trump. And and a lot of people that were Bernie supporters are refusing to to get on Hillary's. It was really bad, actually. In D.C., I I was out being a tourist and taking pictures and I saw multiple protests and people all wearing Bernie gear and you know that's just not that's not what we're in and the reason actually I was such a Bernie supporter in the beginning was because of how he's been for the LGBTQ community from the beginning and I think like Hillary I think she's grown and that's that's what it is it's just about we